Nolajet here at Luca Eats. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we are at Luca Eats on a travel search for best sandwich options in the New Orleans area. Luca Eats is located in New Orleans near Tulane University and across from St. Mary's Cemetery at 7329 Cone Street, which is about 18 minutes and 5 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Here we are walking right next to St. Mary's Cemetery on our way to the restaurant. Luca Eats was established back in 2016 and has become noted for their breakfast and lunch options where they serve locally roasted premium coffee and homemade hand-pressed sandwiches. This is my first visit here and I'm excited to try out this food here and see what all they're going to offer us today. So let's just go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Wow, when you walk in, you immediately notice this is a tiny little spot that just has a tiny little number of tables inside along with a little bar you can sit at. So most of the seating is definitely outside. They also have a collection of some nice clocks right here. And as you look out the windows, you can see where most of the seating is. So on nicer days, it's a pleasant time to sit outside and enjoy that outdoor area. But in New Orleans, we're getting up into the 90 degree temperatures early this year, so it's a little hot right now. So let's check out this chalkboard menu. So we have coffee drinks at the top, then some iced tea, lemonade, soft drinks, some dairy milk options, non-dairy milk options, freshly squeezed watermelon lemonade, and Oreo beignets. So I decided to try the coffee and they had a choice of a chicory or a Peruvian coffee today and then right next to the coffee they had a little gift shop area and then I decided to go outside and check out the outdoor seating and I chose the chicory with a little whole milk added. Coffee time. <laughs> the price for my large coffee was $5.82 with tip which is about standard for the area. Speaking of coffee, the official coffee of the Nolagent channel is the Dead Sled Coffee Company, where they have some great rock and roll and horror movie themed coffees. And they also have a great cold brew coffee that's really easy to make and is fantastic in the hotter weather like we're having now in New Orleans. So I've also got a discount code for you, NOLA, N-O-L-A. So just go check out their website at deadsledcoffee.com. So it's time to get back up to the counter and decide what we're going to order. So let's go ahead and check out the menu now. We have chef's features with shrimp and grits, shrimp and grit sandwich, avocado toast, breakfast sandwiches, hot pressed, steak and egg, bacon, egg and cheese, spinach and artichoke croissant, chorizo and egg, apples and brie, egg white press, soups made in house, bill plot chicken and dewy gumbo, creamy tomato soup, soup du jour, Sides, spinach and artichoke dip with chips, salsa, sour cream, creamy corn grits, fried bell pepper rings with Cajun spice sauce, house fried rosemary sea salt potato chips, crispy fried Brussels sprouts, fresh fruit, pastries, house baked scones, and muffins. On the other side of the menu, we have entree salads, fresh and crisp with the signature, the Asian chicken salad, the chicken cob salad, southern pecan salad, chicken Caesar, Mediterranean salad, chicken salad salad, garden salad. Then we have our lunch sandwiches, hot pressed, a Cubano, a turkey pesto, a grilled chicken panini, a steak, a veggie press, a fried green tomato BLT, muffaletta, a chicken salad, an upper crust grilled cheese with tomato soup, pepper, 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 grilled cheese, and chicken quesadilla. Then we have desserts with Oreo beignets, house-baked chocolate chip cookie, white chocolate bread pudding, chocolate espresso beans. So I decided to start out with a creamy tomato soup and it came with a side of a little piece of crunchy toast that looks pretty nice. So let's get our first taste here. Oh, it looks pretty nice and it's got a nice flavor. Now I'm not really detecting any basil, so I don't think it's a tomato basil soup, just a plain tomato soup. And for a tomato soup, it's got a nice thickness to it. Let's go ahead and see how it stands up to a little of this crusty, delicious toast. Mmm, okay. So it is staying on the toast pretty well. And, ah, okay, so the toast and tomato soup combo is pretty nice. This uh, soup definitely can stand up on its own pretty well. It is not a watery soup at all. It's got a nice thickness to it. 
and it's certainly uh, very nice and hearty for a tomato soup and the toast kind of makes it even better. Okay, here we go, I've got my last bite. And just like I destroyed that soup, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this tomato soup. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Next, I decided to get the steak sandwich, which is house grilled top sirloin, caramelized onion, sharp white cheddar, house made horseradish sauce on ciabatta bread, and it's served with house fried rosemary sea salt potato chips. There wasn't any mustard though, and ah, I gotta have mustard to enjoy my sandwiches. But uh, even with the lack of mustard, it's still got a decent flavor here, as you've got meat and cheese and some horseradish sauce, so that's better than nothing, of course. Although, a little Creole mustard really would have gone a long way to making me a much more happy camper, I've got to say. And uh, it's overall a pretty decent sandwich, all ooey gooey cheesiness with a bunch of beef, of course, is uh, generally going to be good, even if you uh, put it inside of an old sock sometimes, you know? So, I definitely can never argue with some ooey gooey cheesiness along with a little deliciousness of the beefy flavor. So, that combination is always one of my favorite things to enjoy and they certainly do a nice little press panini style sandwich here with that technique so it's uh, overall something that's pretty decent to eat if you're in the mood for a panini style sandwich and each and every bite's going down very easy and that's just half the sandwich we got another half right here now overall for the price this is uh not quite a po' boy size sandwich, and for the price, we're definitely getting into po' boy territory. So I don't think you're really getting as much value as a good old sloppy roast beef po' boy would give you. Um, now, you know, a lot of people get burned out on po' boys, and some people don't even like po' boys. So if you're one of those people that likes a more normal sandwich like you're gonna find in the rest of America, this is probably the kind of spot for you because they do not have po' boys here. They do have a muffalata though, so that is a New Orleans sandwich. But if you're in more of a mood for some more regular style America like everywhere else kind of a sandwich, then this place can certainly punch that ticket. And you know, they also have that big breakfast menu, so you can always come and enjoy a little breakfast here. So they are only open for breakfast and lunch, no dinner times. So you gotta get here early or you're not gonna get here at all. All right, now I finished that sandwich and it's time to dig into these homemade chips and see how they are. So, sea salt chips. Let's see, we'll make a little nacho out of it with some of the uh, few little pieces of beef and cheese that dripped out of my sandwich. Ooh, yeah, look at here. Extra special nacho extraordinaire with a little cheesy crust on it. Oh, all right, let's see how this works. Oh yeah, I could uh, have more of that. That's a pretty good combo. And the uh, potato chips do have a nice flavor to them. They're good, crisp crunchiness to them is uh, certainly above average compared to most other potato chips you get commercially these days. So these are a very nice version of a homemade potato chip. I can't say I'm getting a whole lot of rosemary flavor, so these are supposed to be fried rosemary sea salt potato chips, but uh, they just taste more salty to me. So, just like I destroyed this sandwich and these potato chips, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this sandwich and the potato chips, and while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for the bill, including tip, was $29.28 which is really expensive for a tomato soup, steak sandwich, and iced tea. That's getting into Commander's Palace weekday lunch with 25 cent martini territory. So I don't know if I would get a sandwich again here for that price. Maybe the breakfast here is a better deal. So thanks so much to everyone at Luca Eats and thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as that really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.